Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another awesome math video. This one on the derivative of logs that involve the chain rule. So let's just do an example. And uh, let's say you have something like this. So let's keep it pretty simple to start. So log of base 2 of x squared. Actually, I don't like that example. Let's call it 2x instead. Because you could really avoid the chain rule with x squared, so I want to I, I want to make it possible so you don't you have to use the chain rule. So in this case, you would have to use the chain rule. So sorry about that, guys. I don't know how much got cut out there, but my iPad sort of conked out on me here. Um, so if you have this situation, log base two of two x, you have to use the chain rule. So it's really really convenient if you can remember this guy. So d over dx of log of a, base a, of u, so that u in our case is 2x, so the derivative of this guy is um, 1 over x ln of a times, or sorry, not x, 1 over u ln of a times u prime. So, um, now that we have that, it's really, really convenient if you know that and you don't have to waste so much time um, messing around using the chain, actual chain rule and stuff like this. So this is really the chain rule done for this situation. So um, if you look at it, so my y prime is going to be 1 over u, so 1 over 2x, ln of 2, because a is my base, ln of 2 times the derivative of 2x. That's my u prime. So that's going to be 1 over 2x ln of 2. Derivative of 2x is just 2. So I can cancel this 2 with that 2 and end up with 1 over x ln of 2. Just like that. So if you have something a little bit more complicated inside there, so you might have something like this. y is equal to log base 3 of cos of x. So that's inside our log function. So again, we'll just write down our rule. d over dx log a of u is equal to 1 over u times um, ln of a times u prime. So I end up with y prime is equal to 1 over u, so 1 over cos of x ln of 3 times the derivative of cos of x. So the derivative of cos of x is negative sine, so I end up with um, 1 over cos of x ln of 3 times negative sine of x. And if you look here, sine, I'll actually rewrite one more step, so sine x over, negative sine x, sorry, over cos x times ln of 3. So if you want to reduce this down, this is probably an obvious simplification. Sine over cos is tan, so this would be negative tan x over ln of 3, just like that. So um, that's a great example, guys, something that you might you know, see fairly often. Let me do one more. So let's say we have y is equal to log base 2 of ln of x. So you got a ln inside the log function this time. So, if you want to take the derivative of this, again we have to use chain rule, so I'm not going to write it down this time. So it looks like y prime is equal to 1 over u, so ln of x times ln of 2 times the derivative of u which is derivative of ln x. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, so it's 1 over ln of x times ln of 2 times x, just like that. So I'll put these in brackets just to make it look a little bit tidier. And there's our derivative. So guys, I hope this video helped. I find this to be the easiest way to take the derivative of logs when you have something inside. Of course, there's many things that could be inside. You could have to use the product rule, quotient rule, things like that. But again, if you have the thing about logs, if you have a product rule, and maybe I'll do an example. 
if you have this situation, y is equal to log of 2, let's just say 2x times sine of x. So let's combine the one of the examples that we sort of had there. So if you have this situation, you never ever have to do product rule or quotient rule when you're dealing with logs because if you know your rules of logs, then you can get out of it every single time. So your rule of logs for multiplying is you add logs. So log of 2 of 2x two plus log of 2 of sine of x. So you just eliminated the product rule by using your rules of logs. Now you didn't have to do that. You could have used your product rule. But why when you don't have to? So if you know your rules of logs, you can make derivatives easier. So then we've already done derivatives like these. So 1 over 2x times ln of 2 times derivative of 2. I'm not going to put that extra step in there. So derivative of 2x is 2, so times 2. And then 1 over sine of x times ln of 2 times the derivative of sine of x, which is cos of x. So these 2's cancel, and I'm left with 1 over x ln of 2. And I've got cos over sine, which is cotangent, so cotan x over ln of 2. So there it is, guys. I hope that helped. Um, again, check out my other videos. i got lots of derivatives on logs, logarithmic differentiation, all that kind of stuff. So I really hope this helps, and I'll see you guys in class. Best of luck. Thank you for watching.